So we were sound asleep and a car without a muffler goes blasting down our street. Why do people do that? Do people purposely just want to wake up the entire neighborhood? I just don't understand people. those today? Uh-huh. And did you say your tummy hurts? Brooke? Uh -huh. Does your tummy hurt? Uh -huh. I eat so much. <coughs> Mama, Grammy, can you roll this up again? You fold it up. I can't help. Try. Give it a go. What woke you up, Haley? I can't know. Did that car wake you up? Can you see that bunny in the background? As soon as she sees Haley, she gets all excited and starts running out of her cage. Why? The whole side? Mornings, they are not for me. So I am eating lunch. And Julie sent home some cabbage that our friend Gail made. And I just added some roasted chicken lunch meat that I had that I got at Costco that's delish. And I heated it up and I'm eating it. But whenever you eat cabbage, and especially a lot of cabbage, you need some of this. Because cabbage will give you the worst gas in the world. The worst raunchy gas. So I got my cabbage and I got my Beano. Ting. So the girls are in the playroom playing. I would take y'all in there, but as soon as they see me, they'll want to come in here. So while they're playing, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let them be. Today is, I have to look, that's how out of it I am, is Thursday. So tomorrow's Friday. So we are going to start school back up on Monday, which is the 6th. So we are really looking forward to that. And I have just been cleaning, picking up, vacuuming, doing dishes, and the girls ate peanut butter and jelly for lunch, so I'm just going to munch on this cabbage and chicken. I'm getting caught up on my um, YouTube subscriptions. I don't even like to watch, the only time we have the TV on is when the girls are watching TV. and. Typically, that's in the morning when we get up. 
um, we watch some things on TV and then towards the evening we um, we let them watch cartoons as well or a movie or something um, I got an HDMI cable so now I can hook the computer up to the TV which is really nice because the quality <laughs> the quality um, videos on YouTube and I mean quality as in morally correct things that you want your children to watch are easier to um, to screen on YouTube and there's educational videos Veggie Tales is on YouTube like you can watch anything on YouTube and you don't have to watch the commercials so um, I've been actually hooking up the HDMI cable to the computer and they've been watching a bunch of ABC songs, counting songs, some phonics videos, um, some Christian videos. So that's really nice. I really enjoy that. So a lot of times the TV is just on and it's just background noise. So I'm trying to cut that out because I think it just adds to the chaos when you have two little children is to constantly have the TV on. They're not watching it. It's just there. It's background noise. We actually took the cable box out of their playroom and so now all they can watch in there are videos. And they were really just using that as background noise too. So we started to make it a rule that if they're gonna watch TV that they need to sit down and watch TV and not play and pay attention to other things. Like if they're gonna, if they want to watch TV, they get to pick out the movie that they want to watch. We put it in, and they need to sit there and watch it. If they get up and start doing other things, then we immediately try to correct them and say, "Are, are you gonna watch the movie or are you gonna play?" And we make them choose so that I think that that I think a lot of the times kids' environments add to their ADD. That's what I think. So I don't want them to have environmental ADD where they can't concentrate on one thing. So, and I think it becomes a habit. I know it's a habit for me. Like when I go to bed at night, very rarely do I go to bed with the TV off. I typically always turn the TV on and I usually put on an investigation type show. Um, I really like the ones on Discovery um, OWN, the OWN network, will have like 48 hours and stuff. I usually will put those on at night and I fall asleep because I can I can close my eyes and still listen to the story and still know what's going on and it just puts me to sleep. So, um, which, hmm, when you're going to bed watching shows about murder and mystery, that's probably not a good thing, huh? I don't have a lot of nightmares though. Hmm, that's something to think about. Hmm. So anyways, it's hard for me to, to go to sleep without the TV on. It's been really nice to have Scott home at night, though. Um, he's working a second shift now, so he is gone in the late afternoon and evening, so we've actually been letting the girls stay up um, a little bit later. Typically, like the last couple of nights, we've let them stay up until after midnight, just like about midnight. So I think I'm going to try to make that their bedtime. They don't have to get up and go to school because we do school here. So I'm just going to set our schedule based on Scott's schedule. That way they get to see him when he comes home and they can spend a little bit of time with him before they go to sleep rather than and then they'll sleep in a little bit later in the morning because he'll need to sleep in a little bit later. I typically don't go to bed until 2, 3, sometimes 4 o'clock in the morning. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm the one that always gets up with them. But um, they'll be able to stay up later so that they can see him. We can put them to bed together. And then in the morning they'll wake up a little bit later. and. Um, see him before he goes to work. So I think that, that we're going to try to do a schedule like that. I know that that doesn't work for for people that do um, traditional government school, but for us it will work. Um, we can make their bedtime 
anytime we want and just if that works for you, for our family then that's what we'll do because we need to do what's good for our family and right now that's what's good for our family so some people might see that as not a good thing to let your kids stay up past midnight <laughs> but for us it works because my husband doesn't work a traditional schedule so our family shouldn't be on a traditional schedule so anyways here's the little monster now She said, shake your booty. We need to get the Christmas decorations down, huh? Christmas is over. We have to put it all away now. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's so much Christmas. We have so much Christmas stuff, huh? Uh-huh. We have to bring the boxes up from downstairs and start putting it away. Grandma's little Santa needs to go away. We have to put away our nativity. We have to put away all of our stockings. Yeah, our tree, got us our candy. garland. Candy. Yeah, but you don't need any candy right now. No. Can I candy at home? Yeah, I won't pack those away. Okay, you're getting fuzzy. Fuzzy? Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Oh, you're, fu you're kind of clear now. The camera can't decide. I can't. So the girls are eating their favorite food. It's a banquet chicken, fingers, macaroni and cheese, and chocolate cake. And they're they drinking rabbits. lemonade. Because we need to go to the grocery store, huh? Mm-hmm. They would eat these. The restaurant, other door, other door has got those. They would eat these every day if we made them for them. But they're not incredibly healthy for you. Why, Grammy? I love brownies. I'm I just eating chicken. a half a turkey and cheese or chicken and cheese sandwich. Mm. Am I, I need to buy, uh, I want to buy new pink car. Can you please buy this one? Pink car. Can you buy a pink car for me? You already have a pink car. I broke, broke a really tiny, ch tiny bicycle. Your hair is a mess. Mommy, one night I on her back. That's right, all together. I broke. <laughs> Mommy, we just buy a new Chuck, new, new bicycle. My hair messed up. Come, it's such a mess. Because I sleep on my bed so hard. Mommy, I like a girl. Look, Grammy. My hair over my nose. What are you doing? I can't want to eat so much. Ow, my way. Well, if you want to eat the brownie, you have to eat your chicken. Mm -hmm. Mommy? You don't want your chicken? I love my chicken. Please, mm -hmm. Mama. It's so good. <laughs> Come. Hey, Mommy, why did you risk my hair? I see my jingle bells. Greg, would you sing with me? Those jingle bells, jingle, jingle bell, bell all the way. Jingle bell, jingle, jingle bell, bell all the way. You know why your hair's so messy? Because mm -hmm. you have blanket fuzz in it. Because you ow. put that blanket over your head and it gets all tangled up in your ow, ow, ow. in your hair. See? And then it pulls your hair out. See all the blanket fuzz? Mm -hmm. So maybe you should quit putting the blanket over your head. Ruby have fuzz. 
Maybe it's over right yeah, here. Ruby doesn't have long hair for it to get caught in. She has short hair. Lots hair. Do we have duck? You shouldn't talk with food in your mouth. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mommy, do we have dark hair and white hair? Hand box on her? Do we have one box? Big box. And two box. Big box. And tiny ones and tiny boobies. Yes. <laughs> tiny I didn't want to get a new ruby. Yeah, my tiny. Why um, ruby had boobies? <laughs> Grandma, why ruby have boobies? All animals have boobies. I never like to get a ruby. If ruby ever would have had puppies, that's how she would have fed her puppies. Because the milk would have come out of her boobies. Come out. Rub. Mommy, Lucy, you be a mommy. Can I Lucy be a mommy? No. Why? They have little kittens. Right, Grammy? Lu she can't have kittens. She was fixed. I heard like Toffee would be a mama more. Toffee, a really tiny kid. So I'm sitting on the couch falling asleep wondering if I should go ahead and start uploading this video wondering if I can stay awake until Scott gets home and then I thought how silly of you to just be sitting here trying to keep yourself awake the girls went to bed about an hour ago because they were so tired so I am gonna go to bed and I'm not gonna do any work tonight I'm just gonna do it in the morning when I get up so tired I think all the holiday activities are catching up with me. So I am going to go to bed and I am going to wish all of you a good night or a good day, whatever time of day you're watching this. So I will see you tomorrow, probably twice because I'll have two videos to upload. So we'll see you then. Bye. God bless.